or nil to advance and face the top seed Cotter. Elsewhere, PEM beats Dovriota 1 0, will face St. Charles on Wednesday. No score in yet from La Crescent Caledonia. The section soccer keeps on rolling this week across all classes, boys and girls. Let's move to football next. A new set of rankings are out here ahead of week seven. First area teams show up in 4A. Byron Bears sitting at 5 and 1 after this week are ranked sixth. While well, the team that beat them, the Cast Manival Comets, jumped from 10 to 7, just a spot behind. In 3A, the Storville Tigers stayed at number one. The Tigers are 6 and 0 on the year. 3 is holding teams to 4.8 points a night has pitched three straight shutouts. Lord here at 5-1 received votes. In 2A, Caledonia Warriors coming off a shutout win over Chatfield. Stayed at number two, receiving three first place votes. Chatfield fell to seven. Cannon Falls rounds out here at number nine. In single A, the Fillmore Central Falcons are the second ranked team. Still undefeated, 6-0. Bethlehem Academy is tied for eighth. Kenny Wanamingo and Goodhue received votes. Lastly, in nine-man Kingsland, a big win over the weekend against Leroy Ostrander is ranked sixth. Leroy sits at 8, 5 and 1. Spring Grove is 10. Next, two girls tennis, Section 1 single A championship. The top seed defending state champs Lord taking on three Cannon Falls. We'll start at one singles. Eagles Caroline Daly and Cannon Falls Josie Soquist. Some high level tennis here. Soquist up in the net will blast this pass for the point. But hold on, here comes Daly. This drop shot here. Somehow still able to get there. Pull off this pass. What a shot. Then you got to see this one. This is just power. A massive backhand winner here. No shot on return. Daily one here, 6 2, 6 0. Oh. Two singles now. Cannon Falls, Olivia Tennyson. It's Lord's Elise Palin. First set here, Palin just bringing down the hammer on the overhead, finishing the point. Then here, once again, this time with some touch and direction. Palin took the match, 6 2, 6 0 oh as well. Lasted one doubles, Lord duo of Catherine Sieve and Molly Sweeno against Abby Repke and Cami Anderson. Good battle here. It's the Bombers who win this point at the net. The Eagles had all the juice in this one. Reaching up, smack this back down for the point. Lord Duo took this match 6-1, 6-3. The Lord Eagles capture its 28th straight section championship. Final of 7-0. Eagles head back to state to defend its state title.